Hello, Monica Nina Huppert's here of Whole Heart Energy Healing. And I'm just going to adjust my glasses quickly. There we go, it seems a little bit better. <sighs> Welcome to day 12 of your stairway to sovereignty, foregoing fears for freedom. Like I said, we're on day 12 of a new year and dealing with the F word, that four letter word that makes us all cringe, fear. We're tossing fear out on its rear, giving you freedom and putting you into a fun and fabulous new year. We're exploring um, feeling the fear and facing it. We learn that fear is no more than a messenger that alerts you. It's connected within. Whether we feel it in our gut, have an intuitive hit, or after having experienced a hard life lesson, we know that fear is not our enemy. It's actually an ally that sounds the alarm so we can get safely out and move on with the rest of our lives. In this series, we're taking on a challenge to recognize how fears in our thoughts, ideas, our attitudes and beliefs negatively control how we think, act and feel. We're exploring the use of fear as a messaging system. Don't shoot the messenger, we simply use the message to course correct and carry on. Last time, we looked at how fear had us trapped into thinking the worst about ourselves, that we were responsible for all of the things that are going wrong in our lives, our bad days, our arguments, our sad situations, and then critical thinking helps by at making us feel even worse. That leads then to blame and shame and thinking up even more reasons why we are the root causes of all our negative things that happen. You see, this type of cyclical thought pattern keeps us anchored in fear. This time today, we'll look at how doubt keeps us locked in a fearful state. Today's episode is called Firing Mr. and Mrs. Doubt. Doubt is so debilitating. It can keep you in a state of fear and flux where you end up spinning your wheels and end up getting nowhere. You can feel snowed under by it and stay frozen in your tracks. You doubt your ability, you doubt your thoughts, even your instincts that are trying to steer you in the right direction. Self-doubt is similar to feeling like things will never change, but from a place that's more personal and internal. Self-doubt comes kind of from a different angle. Self-doubt is a lack of confidence in yourself and your abilities. This type of doubt occurs when we feel incapable of doing things that we need to do. In this case, you often spend time stressing over every little single decision you make and picture how things might go wrong. Unfortunately, especially as you grow older at some point in your life, you'll question whether you're doing well enough or capable for all of the uncertainties that might come up. You'll doubt your decisions and choices and feel like you're no longer good enough or are good at something. Some level of self-doubt is healthy because it indicates understanding what could be improved upon in order to do a better job. However, persistent fear and self-doubt can hugely affect your life in a negative way. It keeps you stuck in some form of fear. You know, when you acknowledge your feelings, you then end up facing your fears. And you can do something then to help yourself out of this state of fear. 
self-doubt is all part of being a person having human emotions while living on earth right now you can face it you can face you you've confronted negative thoughts in your past before you've conquered limiting beliefs this is no different you can relieve the resistance have the pressure taken off realize it no one's perfect and practice some self-acceptance and love of yourself just because self-doubt is activated in some part of you it does not identify the whole of you it does mean that you have zeroed in on some pain point for the time being and it's grabbed all of your attention it's a snapshot in time that seems all-encompassing at that time anyways things change this will too when you feel more self-confident and self-accepting things simply slide off of you but when you're less confident tired and feeling weak you easily fall into doubt and even the smallest things seem larger than life it's especially during those times that we need some TLC are you still feeling overwhelmed by this type of fear what can you do well book a session with me and together we'll kick your kick your fear out on its ear I have an ebook to aid you in your journey it's a good piece to help you for now but let's book a healing session so you can experience freedom from your fears there's a course in the making that will be of great benefit to you because they will make achieving your goals faster easier and more efficient you deserve a more balanced and happier life message me if you have questions or need more information use the link below called getting to know you and we'll explore what you want to achieve in life I hope that you're supported during this quest and can find someone to go along with you on the journey let's do this together together is better book your free getting to know your call with me and you'll see how you can release the fear move forward into a new way of being monica dina huppert's of whole heart energy healing this has been day 12 of your stay, stairway to sovereignty for going fears for freedom so you can get a new year a new decade and a new you off to an abundant new start cheers to your success i'll post the link right away Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.